Hey everyone, welcome back to more Vanguard Bandits. When we last left off, we took out a bunch of Sharkings trespassing in Nordland territory. Now we're heading back to the Imper Imperial the Imperial Capital to try and reclaim it. We gotta face down with Faulkner again, and once again put him down. So we're gonna go ahead and go first off with the interview. Doesn't really matter at this point. Because we're on uh, Cecilia's branch, so morale is pretty much locked in. It doesn't nothing influence. It doesn't influence anything anymore. It's always it's always fun to speak with you, Bastion. You're very amusing, very cute. <laughs> and one of Sidira. Seems to be my country, Bastion. The Empire was my home. All right, now the briefing. You might recognize this map, as it's the exact same map as the one we fought on the Kingdom Branch in this chapter. There are two ATACs outside the fortress, but how many are inside? Before recent events, there would have been eight ATACs stationed inside. Now, of course, you have, like, no idea whatsoever. What if there are more than eight? What if they're Sharkings? Maybe I should have let Daddy come. Thank you for the pep talk, Claire. It may look the same, but it's actually, it is actually a different map, thankfully. To an extent. Even the music is the same. Dispatch the, de the defense force! The rebels are here! Rebels. Only two more ATACs? I refuse to believe Faulkner would make such a blatant strategic error. It might be hard to believe, Bastion, but Faulkner is human. Perhaps he forgot to send more ATACs here. I suppose so, Cecilia. Like, I think you're right, Bastion. Faulkner's not dumb. There must be more ATACs hidden somewhere. Let's fight with caution. Alright. So we got these four standing guard. Let's see. Level 10s. Yeah, they're level 10s. So, puny, right? Well, that might be so. However, Go ahead and do this. Wait. Okay, good. Just making sure I get this right. You're gonna go here. You're moving here. Bastion is here. Whoops, whose turn is it? Oh, Halleck. He'll move behind Bastion and go ahead and Roaring Windham. Now, why am I moving this way? You'll see in a second. There's a madness to my method, believe me. Retreat! What's going on? Why are they retreating? That's why. Hey there! What? The Kingdom Army? And the man who leads them into battle is Duke Zira, the leader of Avalon. What's going on here? Like, I have no idea. I am Duke Zira from the Avalon Principality. I believe I am addressing Prince Bastion and Princess Sidira. You are, Duke Zero. Please give us a chance to explain why we are here. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions first. Is that alright, Prince Bastion? Of course, I can hardly blame you for wanting to understand our motives. Princess Sidira, have you allied yourself with Prince Bastion? Actually, I consider us allied with each other, but yes, I suppose so. Prince Bastion, this is the most important question of all. I ask that you answer honestly. I shall be here, Duke Zira. What do you do with what will you do with the Ultra Gunner now? My first goal was the very reason we have come here. 
I'm going to defeat Faulkner and end the war. Until that madman is stopped, the continent will never be safe. And after you crush him? I don't know. I certainly don't intend to wage another war or abuse the, or to abuse the Ultra Gunner's power. Bastard strikes me as an honest man, Ganlon. I feel that he speaks the truth. But, uh, sir, uh, of course he's lying. He doesn't, uh, want us to destroy him. What do you think, Ione? Reyna? Reyna... I did, I did not travel with him for long, Duke Zira, but he impressed me as an honest man and kind young man. My impression has not changed. I agree with Ione. Bastion might slip into occasional sexes, <laughs> but there's no, what, is there a male who doesn't? If anything, Zira, the only person whose behavior has been suspicious is Ganlon's. What? How uh, rude. Oh shit. And how entirely accurate. You are an atrocious liar, Ganlon. Faulkner! You! What kind of attack is that? The shadow attack it is! I vaguely recall Falk Father speaking of a shadow attack, but I never imagined anything like that. Allow me to introduce you all to the instrument of your destruction. It exists in perfect disharmony with the Ultra Gunner, the darkness which devours the light. This is Zolvorn! I've heard legends of that soul war, but all the men ultra, with Ultra Gun are destroying it. So how does it stand before us? The legends were wrong. Zolwarn merely changed its form and went into a long sleep, I suppose. Now the sleeper has awakened. Bastion, there's another legend about Zolwarn. A legend that it needs more than a power stone to run. I heard that it needs... blood. What? No. It was not an easy task, Sarah, but I was able to round up a few hundred useless people for the sacrifice. I do regret the fact that I now have fewer subjects to rule over, but I will manage to go on. What have you done? Why, I have acquired the power of a god, dear Sadira. Why don't I give you a demonstration? And then he does this again. Hmm? What's he trying to do? I don't know, Bastion. Uh, what's this? Faulkner, what are you doing? I am awakening the evil within you, Gantlon. I am placing you under the control of Zolwarn. And wonderful. Now then, my amusing little pets, kill those who would stop me. What has he done? Duke Zira, what's wrong? Can you hear me? Zira, say something! You can scream yourself hoarse, boy, but you'll only receive no response. Zira and the others are under my thrall. They hear only my voice now. You pathetic coward! I prefer to think of myself as a man who carefully chooses my battles. Consider this a test. Defeat your friends here, and I shall kill my you myself in the capital, in the Imperial capital. Wait! Yeah, like he was gonna wait. Damn it! Should we, like, run away? We can't, Claire. They would only hunt us down and give Faulkner time to build more Sharkings. If we retreat now, we have already lost the war. Then we must destroy the Atax without harming our friends inside. As difficult as it will be, Bastion. It is also our only choice. Alright. So that's why I moved my people right up against here. For the most part, Bastion's gonna be healing everybody, while the three well everybody else hammers on people. First things first. Damn it. We have to get rid of Galvis. He is way too powerful. Everybody else will be normal. I mean, even Zeros will be strong, but nothing too overwhelming. Thankfully, though, with Sadira right here, she can put a pretty good hurt on him. Damn. Because I'm not giving him the chance to wail on anybody with Flare Bomb. Um, 
destroying one Franco. And putting us here, it also keeps everybody from moving. They're com so I've got them completely boxed in. Bastion. Lightning Strike, Galvis. I thought you despised the Empire, old man, and now you're allowing them to manipulate you? Snap out of this evil trance, Galvis. I know you could do it. Wake up! Yeah, Zolborn is a dick. But we, we knew that already. We've seen it in action before. Alright. Uh, let's just cap his power real quick. Actually, no. Do that. Because I think... No, not yet. Waiting for something. Let's look at the turn order here. Cecilia, Claire, Franco. Okay, we're gonna let them finish off Galvis. You start working on Zero. Oh my god, I wish I had realized. I should have looked at it. I should have looked. Oh well. He's frozen. He can't do anything. Let's see, her agility is capped. We'll give her... You know, we'll give her two more dexterity and one. Where did I put that in? No. One of those. Claire. You can flare bomb zero. There we go. Nice. Now she's max there. Might as well get him frozen. Ganlon, of course, is going to attack. No. Just avoid it. I hope. Please avoid this. Thank you. There should be no way for him to hit you. Oh, yeah. Ione's father even joined the fray. Why I didn't defend this, I don't know. That's why. Uh, earthquake. Just defend. If it hits you, it knocks you on your ass anyway. Just actually, just wait. Reina. Good. Yeah, it's gonna hurt the most probably hurting, taking her down. Oh wait, they've had one space back, space back there. I guess they can move a little. I thought I had them completely stuck. Stop with the ice shards already, for crying out loud. You're not gonna hit her. Alright, back. Oops. Bastion, take Ga Ganlon out. Ganlon, Galvis out. There we go. Now you can somersault Ganlon. She's gonna be somersaulting like crazy. Thankfully it doesn't use that much FP, so by ending her turn right afterwards, she'll get a good chunk of it back. But 
you turbulence him. Oh, neat. Ah, uh, dooby dooby doo. Do that. And we'll go with another flare bomb. Sadira. Duke Zira, please! Please, please open your eyes! He's, lo he's lost to us. Nice. So cap that, or work on it anyway. Avoid. She's probably, that's what I thought. 44% chance to counter. Let's go, let's counter with a wind strike then. Sorry, Ione. Nothing personal. Oh, him. Will you stop it? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk... I mean, he could possibly avoid it. It was only a 60% chance to hit, but... I'd rather go with a sure defend. The only problem with this map is there's just a lot of guys, so it takes a while to, it's gonna take a little bit to get through this. And since it hasn't McNash's turn yet, I haven't had a chance to actually reduce some of her FP. Speaking of... Sitting at 25, that's good. You know, technically I could have attacked there. What's a turbulence do? Eh, not worth it. Not worth the MP. Especially once you'll just do that. Now what? Sure. Hey, God, these guys suck. Not that I'm surprised. Uh, do I counter? Do I counter? If I counter... Nah. Leave it in a void. I'm also gonna try and make sure Bastion and uh, Claire get the Claire Cecilia get the most experience out of this. She could take Ione out. Yeah. Not with that. I mean, if I had Spiral Diver, she'd be dead. But. This way we can just weaken people. And they'll also roar and win roar and wind each other since they don't have much they have the least amount of dexterity. Alright, Cecilia. 
Damn. Still got a few more hits left in Gamon. Well, one more will do it. I just gotta hit him with a turbulence. He's at 25. Let's attack Ione. Or not. And the only one you can attack is Zira. And I... the experience on you. Hmm. Yeah, we'll wait. To attack fashion. Now you're attacking Franco. And Sonic Blade will knock him down. Supposed to defend. Since he's gonna get clocked anyway. At least this way he won't take too much more damage. Twenty oops, twenty percent, and if I turbulence back, fifty six percent. Just leave it on a void. Turbulence him. Let's get Kaido frozen. It's just fu so funny that her father joined this. Is in this fight. At least it's better than him getting killed like he did in the Kingdom Branch. And since I didn't somersault Ganlon, actually, you know what? Leave him there. Get rid of Zira. give you a lot of experience, and two, open a hole for Claire. Ah, oh, so close! But I don't want her to freeze. Oh, really? Screw you. 22% or 20 whatever percent chance and he hits. Reyna, don't make me do this. Reyna, can you hear me? Damn you, Faulkner. I'm sorry. Where's your ATAC anyway? Oh my god, stop with the damn ice shards! Clock him one then. Or not. And he was more surprised than she was, it looked like. Bye, Reyna. I'm sorry. God, that hurt. Ah, oh, 
time to spam Holy Light. It's okay, then we got him down to five. There's only five guys left. Tempting. What are you doing? Oh, getting yourself killed. Or at least you would if I was actually attacking. Ioni's probably still pissed I used her as cannon fodder a lot. No. Ganlon. It might be just low enough for her to kill him with it. Now this guy will counter. Ah, uh, then again, maybe not. She'll freeze. But deaths don't matter at this point, so who cares? Nice. And she's got plenty of HP. And with her frozen, she's a, got a she's got a big target on her now. So for the other idiots, and that's the end of Ganlon. Only two forty one. I thought that'd be worth more. Turbulence away! And of course, you're gonna ice shards her. It's alright, thankfully, with such limited mobility, she can wear a move, limited uh, movement area. She'll be out of harm's way, no problem. Dumb here, but whatever. Good. They can't get to him anyway, other than a few friggin' Hujma blah blahs. Not Ione. Well, that'll get rid of him. Just trying to get this over with. Three to go. Because Sadira really needed another level, right? Start doing that guy. Celia's gonna take out Ione on her next turn. And then it's just the other two idiots. Oops, there we go. So yeah. I believe I said to her before that Cecilia's path is the easier of the two uh, endings. But if not, I'm saying it now. Sorry, Ione. Nice. She's gonna freeze anyway, might as well hit him hard. Perfect. He's right for the picking. Actually, 
do this. The only ones who can't move are Clara and Sadira. Because they're keeping Bastion from getting destroyed. stretch here. You go ahead and somersault that poor sap. Or will one strike do it too? Yeah, that'll work too. Damn it! That's what I get for back... There's nothing, nothing more frustrating than a lucky dodge. I mean, it, except if it's in your favor, but it rarely is. These bastards are frozen now. the turbulence. Die, I'm not taking any chances this time. One more to go. Then we can go on against and move on towards Falker. That's it. Cecilia for the win! Alrighty. Just when I think Falter couldn't become any more evil, he does this. Turning our friends against us and sacrificing his own people? Now it's his life that shall be ended. Hopefully that shook them free of their control. I feel that I owe you all an apology for attacking you unjustly. I should have, resi I should have resisted the spell. It's alright, Tixira. I'm just glad you realize that Bastion is telling the truth about his lineage. Your Highness, I am sorry for having doubted you. I have brought dishonor upon the Kingdom Army. Nonsense. You did what you thought was right. I didn't see any honor to dishonor in your actions. I was able to make Ganlon admit his involvement with Faulkner after a lengthy, inter a lengthy interrogation. I need to investigate further and determine the depth of Ganlon's betrayal. A fine idea. We need to know how much Faulkner knows. Your Highness, I'm being ab abrupt by stating this, but I would desire nothing more than to have you return to the kingdom, return to kingdom, to the kingdom, and restore to uh, restore it to glory. Perhaps, Calamus, but I can't consider that until I've de defeated Faulkner. Don't place too much faith in my ability to make dream co dreams come true, Calamus. I am only a man. Yes, Your Highness. It's time we started repairing the Atax and tending to the wounded. Then we should rest here, rest here before our assault on the capital. We need to, ter to determine how to fight Zolwar. Like, if we can fight Zolwar. And back at the castle. When I was hit by the waves from the Zolwarn, it felt as if my mind was being probed by a red-hot poker. I lost consciousness. And when I woke up, you were pulling me from my ATAC. How horrible. I wonder why Bastion and I were able to escape Zolwarn's effects. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, especially after hearing Zira's tale. So, like, if, Zol if the Zolwarn could do that to Zira, was using one of the excavated attacks. I totally guarantee Faulkner will figure out a way to make it work on all of us. And what happens when none of us are in resistance power? The enslavement of the continent is what happens, Claire. 
Our world will be cast into eternal darkness. Eternal darkness. Reyna! We're under attack, everyone! There's a group of Imperial Atacs headed this way, and one of them is the Cerebellas. Cerebellas. What? My brother, Dwyer. We would help you if we could, but our Atacs are still being repaired. Don't worry, Duxira. I'm hoping that I can talk some much-needed sense into my brother. And if that doesn't work, I'll give him a much-needed beating. I sincerely believe that I wouldn't want to be your brother right now. <laughs> Let's go! That's the Cerebellas, alright, and I guarantee Dwyer's inside. He won't let anyone else into, his, into the cockpit. So what happens if he's under the control of the Zolwarn? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Also, we have the last shop in the game. Hooray! But yeah. So, Chapter 18 is done. It was pretty similar to the Kingdoms 18 in that uh, Faulkner messed with everybody with the damn uh, Zolwarn wave. But we've fought them all off, and now it's time to move on. So tune in next time, as we finally teach Dwyer a much-needed lesson. Until then, everyone.